I'm gonna do a demo slash tutorial on the IV plugin max script that I created. It is based on the program by Thomas Doft. Let's start by showing you how to install it. Since uh, it doesn't have a setup, you just basically extract the items from the RAR file and put it where they need to be. Okay, so the GUP goes into the plugin folder, <coughs> depending on the version of Max you have. Then on the script folder, just copy the NSE and the macro, the MCR, and the startup folder. The macro, you actually don't need it, but it's just handy to have it. Uh, for example, if you go to customize and look in the into the GTools category, you'll have the IV. You can just grab it or do a menu or anywhere. That way you just have it there handy to, to use it. Alright, uh, this is the main interface for the roots and the branches. One thing that I want to mention if you're coming from the Guru version is that on this one you have to set the seat location and the climb object. So for example, let's click here and you will see that the box was automatically picked and that's because the script looks uh, around where you put the seat to see if there's an object around it and it chooses that one. But sometimes it uh, picks, picks the wrong one. So just make sure here is the correct uh, object. Uh, otherwise, nothing's gonna grow. All right. Uh, one thing that I want to mention is that every parameter that you have here, as well as the position on the screen, is gonna get saved. So let's say I change those parameters, then I open the plugin again tomorrow day. The settings are gonna be there. So that's handy if you need to. I mean, you find something that you like, and they're gonna stay there. But if you want to go back to the default values, you can just go T into the R, and everything's gonna get resets to, to the default values. All right, and I'm not gonna go into every single parameter just because I have it already on the my website you can go into the IV programs in the IV in here I show uh, a brief description of each setting but the most uh, helpful thing I think are this jeep file that it actually shows you what each uh, parameter does so you're not guessing that much Right, and um, it's straightforward. You pick the seed, pick the climb object, and just click grow until it reaches the edge. It's going to continue growing. If you want to start over, just click reset, grow it again. Simple. Uh, if you go to the branches, these three buttons are actually check um, buttons. So if, if they're pressed, it creates that thing, in this case a spline. If you uncheck it, it's going to delete it. The same for the mesh. If you click, it's going to create the mesh. If you create the uh, change one parameter, it's going to get updated. And the same for the leads. So let's say you want to uh, higher area for one less multiplier and then another thing that I want to mention is that you can actually create a mesh as it is right now you can see that it's just a single mesh for the leaves and a single mesh for the branches of link or you can create a corona and the corona actually places the, the leaves based on the vertex color. 
so if we take a look uh, at the actual mesh you can see that it has a vertical color information and that is used by the corona if you have a corona installed and set as the default value i mean default render <coughs> you can see that it creates a corona scatter and in this one you have much more control of the the actual mesh or the placement or the amount of clicks all right let's leave it the default mesh for now All right. Uh, one thing that I want to mention. Well, one thing briefly is that when you have a really large IV, the viewport might uh, become slow. So you can change here to actually just draw part of the spline, and it speed things up uh, considerably. And you can always turn it off, but then you'll have no feedback. So that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, one parameter that I want to show or talk about slightly is this search size and what it does let me show you straw spline and you can see the amount of uh, vertex that's actually this for example if I change it to 0 0.5 Set it. Besides that, it's going to be slower. You will see that if I draw the spline, you see the amount of vertex that they get created. That's the search uh, for the next intersection on the mesh. And that, besides that it changes the whole thing, how it's created, it also has a big impact on certain meshes. So for example, on this one, this size works fine. But let's say that I want to create the IP now on this geometry. So change. Here it shows like uh, nothing is grown, but actually it's growing on the previous. So I just reset it. You can see that it actually shows, uh, it doesn't show enough uh, resolution. So if you change this to a lower number, you'll see that actually for this mesh works better with small uh, numbers. But then if we move it again to this one, oops, we'll see that it's just too slow for this mesh. So for this mesh I want a higher number. So it goes much faster. Alright. And that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully you find it useful. And if you find any issues, uh, please let me know and I'll try to fix them.